Hello, my name is Iron Pacifist, and I play a level 3 Iron Man in this game, Old School RuneScape. And these videos are my adventures and progress on this unique and limited account. Uh, last episode, we started working towards 90 fletching. We used up all of the metal we had left over from our smithing grind and a bunch of wood that I had uh, left over in the bank. And we've ran out of herb seeds and compost. In this episode, I'll be continuing to work on this thieving level towards 94 thieving to restock our bank on herbs, doing compost runs to restock our bank on compost, and working on this fletching level up to 85 or 86, I think, is where we'll run out of resources. And then we'll get into Winter Todd to try to get some more resources from there. Uh, so without further ado, I am going to go start clicking on this farmer a whole lot, and I will see you in the next clip. Okay, so forestry came out yesterday. Uh, unfortunately, I was super busy at work and not able to participate. Um, but today, I am able to participate. So we're on World 487, the forestry world, and we are going to go check out a little bit of forestry. Uh, I think to me what I really need um, would be maple logs would be the, the most efficient thing for me to get for making arrow shafts uh, and I am going to need a few more to finish up my uh, grind to 90 fletching um, because I have enough redwood logs for 90 to 99 however uh, I'm going to have to get to 90 before I can use any of those redwood logs so we're going to go see if we can participate a little bit in the forestry update and hang out with some people over here by the the Sears Maples I assume there should be some people here and just see uh, what we get maybe we'll get some rewards I believe the um, lumberjack outfit is now possible on a level 3 it previously wasn't it was previously Mauritania locked and I believe it is now possible on level 3 yeah and I see these maple trees are respawning so Let's go take a look, see what uh, the events are like. I, I don't really know much, if anything, about forestry. I did about five minutes in Draenor Village and got uh, these 140 anima. Um, there was just roots spawning all the time. I didn't really know what I was doing. I just was clicking roots. <laughs> so we're gonna we're gonna try. We're gonna hang out with these people and and see how forestry goes. And I will check back in with any clips if I see anything interesting happening. Maybe, you know what, I'm gonna grab a knife as well so I can cut these into arrow shafts as I go instead of banking them. That will be even more efficient. Oh, look at me go. All right, I will see you back if anything interesting happens at Forestry. All right, it looks like we got a little event here in Forestry. We got these tree roots. Uh, we're supposed to find the green one, but I find that there is way too many people here and I can't really find the green one. So I just kind of go where the crowd goes. And sometimes some people will say green and chat or say like, come here. Um, there you go. Oh yeah, see, you can kind of see there's like this little bit of green, but there's so many people here that it's, it's very difficult to see. And with that, you're getting six to seven anima bark every wood cutting uh, XP drop you're getting. Whereas on the normal ones, if you're not on the green route, you're getting two to three anima bark every wood cutting XP drop. So it is a big difference in doing these green roots. Uh, I would definitely recommend that. And oh, that green one despawned. Oh, people are all ran over here. So I'm gonna trust, trust the crowd. Which one is it? Oh, no, that one despawned. No, that one's still there. It doesn't look green to me, but that one despawned. Those two both despawned. Oh, everyone's running over this way. Trust the crowd. Trust the crowd. Just go <laughs> with the crowd. Yeah, I got a seven from this one. This is the green one, even if you can't see it. I assume at some point someone will make a, a rune light plug-in and uh, show you where the, the green ones are and where the regular ones are. Which one? There's The group kind of split. There's a lot of people here, and there's a lot of people here. Um, nope. I can't tell. Oh, and I think that is the end of that event. So those all despawned. There goes the roots. They're all gone. 
and that's it. You just get a, a whole bunch of bark. We're up to 900 anima infused bark in the pouch, and uh, I think our goal right now is to go for 5,000 because that will get us the lumberjack outfit, which was previously impossible on this build, so it would be real nice if I can get that. That's our goal right now, and I'll uh, maybe next time I get an event, I'll uh, see you guys then. Okay, we got another event here. So this event, uh, you're supposed to feed this this plant. So I found there's there's three different types of food that spawn, and uh, you're supposed to collect one of each, I guess, and that gives you the best. Um, it seems like I got five bark for doing that for collecting one of each of the types of food oh there's even a fourth type of food here i don't know oh it tells me uh nutritional value of 70 percent with that combination uh 30 percent with that combination um but i find i mean you can just kind of use one type of food and spam click and look at that i got 40 percent with that 10% with that. Okay, so I need green leaves and rotting leaves and droppings, maybe? Is that, how's that? Um, nope, that's 60%. Okay, so just green leaves got me 30%. I'm trying to figure this out for the first time. I haven't actually tried to figure one of these out yet. Okay, so just mushrooms is 10, so probably not mushrooms. Just droppings is 40. Okay, that's pretty good. So what am I going to do? Rotting leaves and green leaves was 40 as well. Oh, that's 40. So, oh, and the event is done. Okay, so the best combination uh, was 70%. I guess that my last one was rotting leaves at 40%. So I almost figured it out. Mushrooms though, eh? Because when I did just mushrooms, it, it only got 10%. So I don't uh, fully understand how this thing works, but I did get a bonus of three anima infused bark okay i did not get a bonus apparently previously uh i would just do one okay i'm gonna go back to doing that screw trying to figure out the highest nutritional value because i would just spam click green leaves or whatever ingredient is closest i would just do three of it aha so we'll try that again okay that was a very quickly spawned okay so we're just gonna do rotting leaves is the closest so we're just gonna take three rotting leaves and add those in Oh, and they're even on one tile apart. Uh, how much? Oh, that's only 10%. Oh, boy. Okay, fine. I'll do mushrooms. Is mushrooms. If mushrooms is worth uh, more than 10%, I'll do these. 40%? Okay. Uh, mushrooms are the first ingredient. Oh, you have to have it in a specific order. Okay. Um, oh, God. But there's also like 500 people here. Splintered bark is the third ingredient. Oh my god, dude. This has to be in the right order. So mushrooms is first, and bark is third, and green leaves is second. So we go mushrooms, green leaves, bark, and that's 100%. Okay. Mushrooms, green leaves, and that gives me six anima each time I deposit mushrooms green leaves bark okay we'll see if i get a bonus because i have before um oh my gosh oh that's the wrong one okay i fucked it up i'm just gonna do do a random one uh i have definitely before just gone like only one ingredient just green leaves the whole time and at the end i get a little bonus of like 150 anima uh, so we'll see. I better get a bonus this time because I'm putting in a lot of work. I, I even figured it out for the first time uh, in this clip. So we will see if I get a bonus from this, then I would say it's worth it. Oh, did it end? The event ended and let's see. Uh, so I figured out the 100%, but again, no bonus. I don't understand. What happened? That first, the first time I got one of these events, all I did was just spam green leaves, and I got 150 anima bonus at the end of it. Um, I don't know. Should I go back to doing that? We'll see. Okay, next time I get one of those events, we're going to we're gonna just spam the green leaves and see what happens. All right. Now, this event, I think, is one of the most confusing. You're supposed to find two of these bushes will be active at a time, 
and I can't figure out how to tell which two. So that time it was those two. So now a different two bushes are going to be active out of all of these. Generally just follow the crowd. Uh, the crowd will figure out which two are active and then you just go back and forth between the two bushes that are active. Is it these two? Okay, yeah. So you click one and then the other one and you can click every two ticks but I find spam clicking works very well for me. So whichever two bushes are active, you just spam click back and forth between them and uh, you keep getting wood cutting XP drops and you keep getting one anima bark uh, less so less than the other events because the other events were giving six to seven um, when you're doing things right okay so those two are done they flower and okay that one's ready and which other one this one no nope. this one there we go okay so just kind of a guessing game I guess I don't really know if there's a better way to tell which two are active at a time and I seems like only two are active at a time. I've never seen more than two active. Like whenever I try to use any of them other than the two that I found, they just says like, no, it's not ready. Go away. This plant doesn't want you right now. Okay, so we're gonna go back and forth between these two. Oh, are these two done? No, oh, I just clicked the wrong one. Okay, so those two are done now. And now, oh, this one's ready, okay, and is it this one? Oh, apparently, this is the best. When you get two that are right next to each other and you don't have to walk, you can do a, on a two tick cycle, if you don't mess it up, you can do every two ticks, you get a little wood cutting XP drop. Oh my god, look at that, look at that, it's gorgeous. Getting one anima infused bark every two ticks. I don't really care about the wood cutting XP, to be honest, at this point. Um, what am I getting in wood cutting XP? Uh, XP per hour 48k yeah it's not even that much and I really don't care about it I'm already well over level 100 wood cutting um, what level wood cutting am I 103 yeah okay those two are done uh, unfortunate because they were right next to each other okay this one's active and this one looks like okay that's not too bad oh and that event is done again no bonus on that event either. I don't know what's happening. I, maybe I'm going crazy. I swear in here somewhere that's nah, all gone. There was some event and it said like you've received a hundred anima infused bark as a bonus. I don't know. Oh well. Let's see in here. We've got up to a thousand since last clip and uh, we'll see if we uh, keep going. I'm gonna see if we can get a little bit more and keep doing these events. Okay, we got a, another one of these uh, struggling sapling events, and I'm just gonna try to find uh, one of these that gives 40%. So there we go, so this wild mushrooms gives 40%. So I'm just gonna do, do wild mushrooms and nothing else and see if I do better this time. Because the last two times, even trying to find the right combination, I didn't receive a bonus at the end. So we're going to see if just spam clicking wild mushrooms uh, is able to give me to give me a bonus on this. Let's see. Uh, where are we? We're about halfway on the struggling sapling one. I think when I, yeah, when you bend down the second time, that's when it's ready. Okay. So bend once, bend twice, and deposit. Okay. I'm just trying to figure out the, the animations for it. But if you do it too fast, because that now that first bend, so it's actually on the second bend there, I guess one, two, and then deposit, one, two, deposit. Okay, I think I'm getting the timing down. I think I'm getting the timing down. Is that my sandwich lady? No, it's not my sandwich lady. Still need the stale baguette. Last random event item I need, like most people. Including rank one collection log. He's still missing tail baguette which is brutal for for that guy man okay let's see and still no bonus I still just spam clicked 40% but I got 22 bark that time and maybe more than that uh, I'm not sure exactly how much I got but that I don't know it's hard to tell how much uh, how much I got but still no bonus no no ending bonus so I'm not sure how that hundred anima bonus I got that couple times happened but oh well there's another event green roots go burr 
So we got, uh, I figured out the pattern on this mulch already. And you know, you're getting six anima per mulch as I do it the right way. But I'm starting to feel like I'm like, I could get three wrong mulches worth two points each in the time that it takes me to get one correct mulch worth six. So it feels like it's almost worth the same amount of bark. You're doing it the wrong way just because you don't have to run around as much. I don't know. It's uh, it's hard to tell. Okay, we're still working on uh, some forestry here, and I thought and uh, decided it might be a good idea to, as I'm working on forestry and trying to get this 5k bark for lumberjack, uh, I'm also going to try to passively get uh, these logs because we just used up all of our U and all of our uh, magic logs in the bank, unfortunately. Um, not prepared for the forestry update. So I'm going to start trying to bank up uh, these logs because those U and magic will take a while and uh, we'll get the bark kind of on the way as we get these logs. So we don't have to go out of the way after I get the bark. So I'm going to head over to magic trees after I bank my uh, 100 maple here. Maple logs are done. Wow, this is the wildest spawn for... Uh, this sapling event. I've never seen all the resources spawn in just like a perfect little line like this. It's a, it's a nice little rotation. Oh man, when you get two bushes right next to each other and if you get the, this two tick cycle down, oh my god. So good. So much bark. Still working on forestry and doing uh, compost runs in between and with this that'll put us back up to more or less a thousand compost which feels real nice to have that done with no more compost runs for me well for a few weeks at least and with that last sapling event there we got the 101 anima bonus which puts us at over 5,000 bark which is exactly what we needed uh, for the lumberjack outfit so it's another item that we can tick off still need to get a couple hundred more U logs and then of course the the magics will take a while unfortunately I did not know that those were required for lumberjack when I used them up just last week so oh well I will be chopping for a bit longer uh, but it's nice to have that bark over to be done with the the events at least or not feel as pressured to uh, to do them very nice and coming into the bank with this inventory of U logs gonna put us over 620 what we need there is just the magic logs left to get now. Okay, so I was chopping uh, some magic leaves and I thought it might be a good idea to buy a little bit of this ritual mulch um, because if I use it on a quarm here, uh, I will get 40 of these nature offerings, which will allow me, if I fill, I can put them into the forestry bag and uh, that will give me a higher chance of uh, getting additional logs, which I thought might be a good idea while I'm chopping magic since they're the slowest log to get and it might help them go a little bit faster. So I got 40 of them just to start with and uh, we'll see how, uh, how those go. Hopefully they, they help a bit and uh, they pay for themselves in, in time. Doing uh, magics over here on uh, Asidious right now. Wow, that just insta proc okay? <laughs> I literally just instantly got two magic logs on the first one. These things are great. Paying for itself already. And we're coming into the bank with another inventory of magic logs, and that puts us at 360 magic logs, which is all of the logs that we need for the lumberjack outfit. So let's grab our con cape, which is the fastest way for us to the friendly forester and let's go buy that sweet sweet lumberjack outfit that I have been working for the last three days on pretty sweet that this is now uh, accessible on a level three because it was not for uh, you know forever <laughs> since it was released so let's try to buy the right things so we want one pair of boots one hat one legs and one top and look at that full lumberjack on the level three iron man let's put it on spam the cc oh look at that doesn't that look good oh my gosh 
That is fantastic. I am very happy with that. That it was uh, forestry was pretty fun. I I enjoyed uh, the forestry that I did for the last few days. Even um, you know when I had enough bark, I thought I would stop and just do the logs and woodcutting guild. But I kind of kept going with it because uh, I was having a good time with it. So there we go. Our lumberjack is done, and I think we're gonna call this episode here. Uh, this was supposed to be thieving and fletching, but with the forestry update coming out, I just had to jump on that bandwagon. So we uh, explored it, learned about it, finished the lumberjack outfit, and that's going to be it for this episode. And next episode, we will do uh, back to our regularly scheduled skilling of uh, thieving and fletching. So I will see you guys then.